I want some girl them blow up. Um. Okay, I want to I want to go through what I call a little speed round of just asking some quick questions about your cricketing career. Who's the best batsman you ever saw? Wow, that's a difficult one. There's been so many great batsmen that I've seen. Um, I'll put it in a category. The one batsman that became probably one of the greatest batsmen. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he would have been that great. Mm -hmm. The Viv Richards. Yes. I think early on in his career he was just over average. Mm -hmm. Early on in his career. Yes. And it's amazing to see. Obviously he had talent. Yes. But it was amazing to see how he transformed his game and became truly great. Yes. And I saw it mm -hmm. from starting to probably the best point of his career. Yes, yes. Now you play with Sobers now, so that's... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not playing Sobers, but I'm just giving you a yeah. Yes. Oh, and, and I'm trying to say where he was. I believe that he's probably the greatest person I've seen with that has done that. Yes. Transformed from that to that. From that, yeah. You know, Sobers, where I saw Sobers, I've always loved Gary mm -hmm. from when I was a youngster. Yes. Sobers was my player. Right. And then it was an honor to, uh, mm -hmm. to play with him. He was my first captain. Yes. And to play with him. But Sobers was my god to me. Yes. It was extremely mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. You know, so those two for me, um, Alvin Kelicheran, you know, as I say, you know, um, we have a lot of them, uh, Garden Greenwich. Mm -hmm. Another one person who I thought had um, grown into a great player was Ray Fredericks. Yes. When I first played with him, I bat with him in my first test match. Mm -hmm. I, I, was, I was saying at the other end, wow, I can't believe this is the West Indies <laughs> test opener. Yes. He just was not... Mm -hmm. The, 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 the kind of player that I would be looking for because I was the rookie who was yes. batting with him out there mm -hmm. and I think I would play much better than better he was playing at the time yes. and over the years Fred transformed into mm -hmm. really a top class opening batsman Yes Who's the best bowler you ever faced? I ever faced? Yes I would say Dennis Lilly fast bowler I would say Dennis Lilly mm -hmm. would be the, um, the best fast bowler I have um, mm -hmm. played against Mm -hmm. You know, I played against my personal guys, but I don't put them into that category. I'm, I'm talking about test cricket now. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I would say Dennis Lilly mm -hmm. would be the, the, the best fast bowler. Was he, was he also the, be the bowler that gave you the most trouble, you say? Um, not necessarily, but he was a person who you always had to be concentrated on looking at. Yes. Very keenly at the batsman. Mm -hmm. He was smart, mm -hmm. he was quick, and very witty. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, who would you say is your favorite all-time teammate? Whether on Jamaica, whether on West Indies, your favorite all-time teammate? Mm. That's the two persons I um, come to mind. God Greenwich is one of the persons that I move extremely well when I play for the West Indies. Mm -hmm. And um, when I played World Series cricket, I got very, very close with Jim Allen, who I thought was an excellent friend of mine and excellent teammate and roommate. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite ground to play on? Sabina Park, obviously. Although I made the children and two in Barbados. Yes. You know, and um, that was probably considered by many the best innings that probably I played. Mm -hmm. But. Um, in total, Sabina Park was a place where and I felt most comfortable mm -hmm. and had uh, and most success was there. Yes, yes. If you, if I were to ask you, who's the one person that you respect most in cricket, whether player, umpire, announcer, selector? Is there one person that stands out that you would say I respect the most in cricket? Wow, that's a tough one. I never really <laughs> thought about that. Um, Mm, that's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Very, 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 very. Anybody come to mind? <laughs> yeah, nobody come to mind. No, quite a few people mm -hmm. um, come in there. I would say um, 
Alan Ray was a, was a very instrumental person mm -hmm. in my career early, early mm -hmm. on, and you know, right? So he was very influential. I played the carous around as youngsters to play, and right through my career, he, I think he had respected me. Mm -hmm. And I um, think Alan is one. Um, funny enough, um, one of the persons who I had a lot of respect for and believe was good was a person who I don't think had liked me very much. How was that? Clyde Walcott. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. But I had a lot of respect for him. Yeah. As well as a manager, mm -hmm. team manager, he was, he was superb, you know. Yeah. I asked, I, I got a chance to speak to Lance Gibbs some years ago and I asked him that same question and he said, um, without a doubt, it was, um, the captain, uh, the three W's, uh, is Weeks Walker, Warrell, 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 Sir Frank Warrell. Sir Frank Warrell. And I asked him why. He said yeah. just be, just the way he carried himself, yeah, yeah. the way how he just yeah. commanded respect yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. that's what I'm trying to yeah, get. Yeah, Somebody yeah, who yeah. you look at and you say, you yeah. know what, yeah. that person is a person of integrity and, yeah, yeah. you know? Yes. Yeah, so you say Alan Ray falls into that? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think so, yeah. Okay. And um, what's your best cricket memory overall? The best memory overall? If you could... Relive one day, what would it be? Wow, it, it, it would have to be my first test match. You know? mm -hmm. It would have to be that first test match. Mm -hmm. What I achieved, and um, you know, to walk out that day to, to, to first of all play alongside the greats mm -hmm. like Sobers, who I admire for, for all these years, I know was walking out on the same cricket field with him, mm -hmm. and um. People like Lance Gibbs, mm -hmm. you know, in the same team, and you're walking out with these guys who used to listen to mm -hmm. on the radio. Not even seeing them on TV, yes. but used to listen to them on the radio right. back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I was now touching shoulder, brushing shoulder with these guys. Mm -hmm. And then, to cap it off, to perform in the way I really did perform and impress them in the way I did. Mm -hmm. And then, to date, mm -hmm. um, that, that record stand. Yes. When people see me, when you, when people talk about me, mm -hmm. they, 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 most times you hear cricket today being played. Yes. Test cricket being played around the world. Mm -hmm. When a man make a test hundred, your name is involved in that. Mm -hmm. If you make a double hundred, your name is involved in that. Yes. And then when it goes further, you stand alone. Mm -hmm. You are the only person who will have done this. Mm -hmm. It's just tremendous. I don't think I could. Um, mm -hmm. That has to be the high point. Yes. Um, last question in this segment now. When you take away the injuries, take away the eye problems, when Lawrence Rowe was at his peak and had no kind of hindrance, no injuries or anything, what was the number one attribute that you had that made you a great batsman? I think I was able to pick up the line of the ball extremely early and was very decisive quickly to get myself into the right position quickly. I think that was the hallmark of my... Why can't other batsmen do that? I don't know, but um, <laughs> I don't know. It is, it, it is not something that is, I suppose, is easy to do. Is it a technical thing or is it an instinctive thing? More or less instinctive, I would tend to think. And probably a little bit, and I would go as far as probably... It, it, a little bit of gift is there. Mm -hmm. To do that, a little bit of special gift is there to be able to. So there are certain things that just can't be taught. Clearly, mm -hmm. clearly, clearly. Wonderful. Some girl and blue